Hi there, I'm Dr. Stephen Fallon. Welcome to this video. What I wanted to do today is just share with you an update about my occlusion skills development workshop that I'm hosting in my office here in Oakville, Ontario on December 2nd and 3rd, 2011. So that's uh, less than a month away. And basically I wanted to let you know that there are only three places remaining for this workshop. So we're practically sold out and we likely will sell out in the next few days. Hard to say, you know, there might be one or two places left in the next week. I will set a deadline soon for registrations because we have to um, basically get everything organized for the workshop with Great Lakes Orthodontics because they supply the articulators for every participant, the face bows, all of the equipment which has to be shipped here to uh, Oakville from uh, the United States. And um, basically the other thing that I wanted to do is share with you a couple of videos from the last Occlusion Skills Development Workshop. Actually videos from the last two workshops. And um, with the videos you'll get a better idea of what we're doing with the workshops and get to see a little sample of uh, the teaching technique. And essentially the way that I've set this up is we're first going to have some lecture material. Then we're going to have a, a over-the-shoulder demonstration. I'm going to demonstrate how to do a functional analysis. I'm going to demonstrate how to uh, do a digital photo series, which I think is very important for case presentation, as well as treatment planning for your cases. And then we'll have hands-on exercises. So everybody will split into groups and do a functional analysis on each other. And then we will we'll practice taking your records that you take at the functional analysis and mounting them on a SAM3 articulator. Every person will have their own articulator to perform this task. And then we'll check and double check that the uh, mountings are accurate. So it's a, I think it's a really good, uh, excellent learning program because you get to hear about it, see it being done, and then practice doing it. So let me show you a couple of the videos. The first video is a demonstration of uh, the leaf, uh, leaf gauge bite record technique that I teach. We also show you how to do the Lucia jig bite record technique and we practice that in the workshop. But with the leaf gauge, you know, this is a simplified, really simple way to take the bite record. And the whole point of the occlusion skills development workshop is to simplify occlusion for you. There are a lot of training programs that actually comp make occlusion more complex for us. And what I've tried to do is make everything as simple as possible without, you know, taking away material, just try to simplify and streamline the material. And the one area that you can get into a lot of complexity with uh, occlusion is patients with uh, internal TMJ disorders. And what I'm going to show you is a simple way to screen out those patients. Because in my practice, I actually don't want to treat those patients. I want to treat people with healthy joints and maybe muscle problems and uh, restorative dentistry issues. So I want to do more full mouth rehabilitation type of cases, but on people with relatively healthy joints. So I'll show you how to stay away from the patients that have uh, joint problems with this workshop. So let's look at this video. <clears throat> and as I said, this will be a bite record demonstration. So I'm just gonna play the video. And what we do is at each workshop, we videotape all the over the shoulder demonstrations. And then I upload them to my membership site and you get access to the membership site to review the material. And uh, with this workshop, you'll have access to the membership site for the rest of this year. And then uh, next year, I'm going to be redoing the membership site. So you'll have access at least till uh, January 1st, 2012. So here's the video. And I'm just trying to get a gauge on how thick the bite record will be. And I think we have plenty of thickness here. Open, bite down, go forward, back, squeeze. I don't think I'll make it a lot thinner though. As I said, I'd rather it be a little thick than too thin. Too thin is very hard when you're working on it. So we're gonna do this. Um, do you have the bite record? Uh, and what I'd recommend is maybe just have your assistant dry the upper teeth off a little bit so it sticks a little bit. And I'm gonna demo wax too, just for the people who really still like wax. Because <laughs> wax does have some advantages. Although I'm typically using this more now. So just a lot, all the way up to the cuspid. You want the cuspids in this. 
And then we put this in. Okay, bite down, go forward, back, all the way, squeeze. Can you pause the tips there? Uh, yeah. I don't know, Melissa times it and tells me. <laughs> or Amanda times it and tells me. One of them does. And I'll sometimes keep them held seated. Some people will open a little bit on you, so you want to keep them seated if you're in doubt. I'd prefer them lying down. I think it's easier to get them seated. Um, I think it's easier for you to do it, too. I'd rather So that's the uh, bite record technique video. And that's just a small segment of the over-the-shoulder demonstration. Basically, I show you this technique. I show you the uh, Lucia jig technique, how to build and construct a Lucia jig. And then uh, we also do a face bow transfer. So I'm going to show you a video that uh, demonstrates the face bow transfer next. I still try and get the center of the face bow in the center of their face, and then the midline will be off in the mounting. I don't center the face bow on the midline if the midline's over here, if that makes sense to everybody. That way you get a more accurate uh, face bow. So now she's going to put this in and just hold it for me. Now I'm just going to attach this. And, and then you rotate this over here, attach this here, tighten this. That's just this assembly. And you'll be practicing on each other, so you'll get a good idea how this works. And then I have the patient then just get level. So she's pretty good there. This is in good, a good place. And then all you have to tighten is this. Really tight. So that's face bow transfer. And the last video that I'm going to share with you is just a small clip from showing how to or demonstrating how to take a digital photo series. And I demonstrated this at my last workshop because I felt that sh being able to shoot a really accurate uh, digital photo series not only helps with our treatment planning, but it really helps with case presentation for patients. So that's why I've included this as part of the occlusion skills development workshop. So here's the video for that. I prefer shooting around F22, F25. Okay, so then the other one, I come over here for the mandible. And if you look, we need, need to, we need to get the lip off. And the mandible's usually easier. And again, that's perfect. See, she's good for occlusals. Not everybody's like that good. So that's a really quick little clip to show you how we demonstrate uh, digital photography. And I'm going to go through and demonstrate all 20 views that I use in my digital photo series. Uh, because I think each view is very important for treatment planning as well as, as I said, case presentation. And so that's basically a few little, you know, a few little videos to give you an idea of what we do at the workshop and just give you a, a little video demonstration of some of the teaching techniques. And uh, basically, if you're interested, click the register now button below this video or uh, lower down on this uh, website or web page. Uh, you can also look at the other video that I have that explains the workshop in maybe more detail than this one. Uh, but I just wanted to send this out here and let you know there's only three places remaining. If you want to register for this workshop, I would do so in the next few days, and that way you can secure your place. It will sell out. You know, all my workshops uh, sell out. Uh, so thank you for joining me, and if you have any questions, feel free to call us or email myself or Jennifer directly. Thank you.